Hello, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to have custom images within Voices of the Void. So first of all, you're going to want to go to this PC, Windows, Users, Your Username, App Data, Local, BOTV, and Assets. Once you're here, you will find flags, meshes, paintings, posters, radio, rugs, stickers, TV, and res.txt. But the only thing we're going to be worrying about here, or in this video, will be flags, paintings, posters, rugs, and stickers. So. If you're having trouble finding your app data folder, you can go to view and then tick the hidden items box. And after you've done that, you can continue on to the next step, which is pick a folder. I, w I picked posters, which is the first thing that I bought. They will always be in a square format and paintings have different dimensions and so do flags and uh, rugs and stickers. Anyways, they, whenever you put an image into one of these folders, uh, it has to be a PNG, and I recommend naming them sequentially in alphabetical order so that they are easier to find later on. And um, next, they not only have to be PNGs, but they have to be a certain bit depth or else they will not work. I recommend 32 or 8, as 8 was confirmed to work by the developer. Uh, I tested 32, and they all worked just fine for me. Um, how to change bit depth is, or how to check it, is right click it, go to properties, and then go under details, and you will see the bit depth here. Um, you can change this, uh, I will link in the description a easy tutorial on how to change it in Photoshop, but alternatively you can also change it in Krita. Um, but besides from that, I do not know how to change bit depth, so you may have to do some research on that on your own. Um, anyways, uh, that should be it. Uh, so long as it's a bit depth of 32 and is a PNG and you have it named in the way that you want in the order that you want um, All you have to do now is go boot up the game or close it and reopen it if it was open through this tutorial and then go into the game itself and Just uh, you you have to use the use function and then it will cycle through the images as you have named them alphabetically Anyways, uh, that's it for the tutorial. Thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, bye.